Olá, a gente está aqui com o Alexander Porter e a gente vai perguntar um pouco para ele da residência dele de arte, do trabalho artístico dele. Então, a gente vai é, falar, estamos aqui no INPE, vamos falar com o artista residente, o terceiro artista residente. Zander, who are you? I'm Zander. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Part of the city where the ocean and the mountains meet. Yesterday we went to LEAT, the Laboratory of Integration and Test, and you get uh, in love with the Chamber of Sounds. There are two uh, chambers. One is an anechoic chamber in which echoes are obliterated, and the other is a chamber for testing of, of vibrations. And the anechoic chamber is very big. It has these cone-like wall architectural designs where the sounds escape or die as they micro dissipate. Um, it's a very large space. And then there's a smaller space, still big enough for the body, um, where they are testing satellites with heavy quantity of vibrations to simulate a kind of ruckus or a kind of um, tumultuous I've been making sometimes videos in which performance is very very integral or I've been making perhaps a performance in which a, a video camera or a simulated reality is also very integral so i feel like i've been bouncing back and forth between those worlds which which recall the body as a as a fleshy object with its skin and its skeleton as well as a, a digitized object or a represented image Tell us about your um, emoting somatic cyborg. What is that? Uh, yeah, emoting is the name of my current research project and performance piece, where I spell the name with numbers in place of vowels. So it's 3M0T1NG. Somatic cyborg. It's a kind of, I don't know, catchphrase more, more than anything to invite an intersection of feeling, thinking, and moving the body. So I'm wondering about the virtual, digital, cyborgian ways that I express, communicate, interpret, understand, move with mostly other humans. So I feel like human is a role play, uh, a role play character, somehow. I'm very curious about this term human. I met Zander in Berlin when he and Maria was organizing an event of techno shamanism and an event of dreams. They invited us, me and uh, Rafael Frazão. So we did two days of. Um, work uh, with dreams with dancers and it was very interesting and there and then we, I invited him to be a, a artist resident here because I love the purpose of the channel entities and uh, his own work so yes so in this uh, moment when he is here I would like to explore a little bit more about his work with dance and um, we saw some videos today. 
And I want to he talk about these performances in the University of Amsterdam uh, with a group that uh, each one has uh, mobiles in their bodies and they dance and uh, filming one uh, each other. So please uh, tell us about this uh, work of a performance in group. Fabi, please, will you put your finger on there? to extend this practice which is heavily grouped in a, in a sort of space-time that is very concentrated in a together attention towards yeah, being my own body in a chamber which reduces a world to a sort of one or potentially one zone. So I'm curious to kind of fight that um, as a proposal for the chambers. How can I become an experiment um, for myself and for the people in the, in the testing institute facility here? How can a practice of, of moving with other bodies trans individually be performed by a single body? The body isolated in the room would be quite, yeah, might be quite naive to assume that it is the only moving entity in the space. So it's a nice reminder to be attentive towards the molecular movements that happen on a more microcosmic scale. And perhaps in these chambers could be a reminder to really pay actually a closer attention to those things when certain, certain senses are reduced or destabilized. After all this pandemic and all this closure that we lived, we restart with the art and residence at INPE. And Zander is the, the, the third artist in residence here. The first one was Karina Karim and the second one was Peter Rocher. Uh, Zander, I know you came from a technological background, not just you, but in a tradition of your family. And uh, after you change, um, I would say radically, going to dance, art and performance, could you talk a little bit about this process of um, a technological side to an, um, a, a, a preoccupation with body and language of the body? I didn't finish the computer science degree, but I still maintain like a bit of knowledge for coding, a bit of programming and game development, software capacities. And I don't necessarily like represent those knowledges anymore in the work, but I think that those knowledges definitely influence how I understand social choreographic performative languages also visual languages and for me it's a bit more exciting to articulate those as as technological rather than to represent a technological study or understanding <laughs> Thank you. 